Zone. I'm in the zone. All right, so breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Relax yourself. Breathe in. Let go of today's stress. Breathe out. Be okay with yourself. Breathe in. Love yourself. Breathe out and awaken. Breathe in. John, hi, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, Sean, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm much better because I'm amongst friends. We um, are amongst friends, and here we are with also we are. amongst friends. We're another week has, or actually um, since I last saw you, you know, actually, actually it's, it's been, been It's been weeks, a little bit, right? yeah. Unfortunately, it's been a uh, crazy holiday season. I'm sure that uh, you, you can you can lay into that a little bit too, but uh, Oh my goodness, dude! What what a roller coaster of a holiday 2020 gave us. And uh, everybody that's listening, Happy New Year! Okay, yes. welcome, welcome to 2021. To 2021. <laughs> you did it, motherfuckers! We did it. You did it. You oh. got through 2020. You got through all 12 months of it, all the holidays, even Kwanzaa, and we just oh my god! Well, yeah. What a year um, it has been. <clears throat> I mean, and it's weird because again, my my mentality is I want instant gratification, right? So I saw mm. that 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 hour click to the to the new year, and I'm I like, saw it too. Yep. I don't feel better quite yet, and I was angry, like, why don't I feel a million times better? Oh and yeah, absolutely. I, that... January second, I was like, man, why does it still feel like I'm trapped <laughs> in last year? Like I'm year? in a pandemic or something. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's only been 24 hours into 2021. So, so a welcome to 2021. Um, we're, we're, you're in a safe spot. We're in a safe place. We're amongst friends. Uh, amongst I am friends Sean. Here, yep. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with John as always. I'm also here, John. Hey, hey Sean, how's it going? Well, I mean, I, I, I know, I know John, you've had a couple of interesting two weeks and yeah. I, I also have had interesting. Weeks. I, I, I it, it's a shame that we haven't been able to like really touch base and we, we had a couple opportunities and each time, um, life you know, happens. something, yeah, life really did came, came yeah, that's up. Okay. In, in that's okay. That's perfectly okay. Yeah. Uh, we took two weeks off. We kind of like, not that we were like, not that we had worked for a year at this or like we were burned out. No, but, but it was, we, I mean, still, we did solid episodes, guys. Yes, like and, we, we put in a foundation. Yes, exactly. That's it. That's it. You said it. Perfect, man. Perfect. We right started there, the yep. foundation we of what foundation. everything else that trickles down after this is going to be built on. Yeah. Um, and I, I, you can't build by trickling down, but you can build up by building up. Right, so, building up. Well, we're going to build up from where we got there. You know, exactly. we talked about a lot of different things. And I hate to say it, going back on it, while it was really great that I got to talk about depression and forgiveness and uh, anger and all the things that we covered in the past couple of weeks, it really let some stuff out. And I, I don't know about you, Sean, I feel like, my attitudes and my beliefs and my perspective have really been positive lately. Um, and I feel, I feel like this is a huge contribution to that. Being able to talk to people and being amongst friends in, 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 the, in the most serious of terms, you know, I, I've been feeling pretty good. And it's been, you know, I, I had a, a, to let everybody know, I'm gonna not gonna drag it out too much, but my, my grandfather who I was taking care of he finally uh, uh, passed away, and uh, it was rather quickly in, in terms of that. Um, and right after uh, the 25th, uh, 26, he passed away. And uh, as, as a family that's uh, devoutly Catholic, um, we, we, we did uh, bury him and uh, 
with my grandmother the following Saturday, which was January 2nd. And he was a cool guy. I, I, I got some really cool stories out of him. I met him, him once. I liked him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, not sure, him, yeah. I'm not sure if I ever told you this or not, but he did like make the first integrated uh, rock and roll band in America. Really? He did. Yeah, I actually have his book. Hold on, let me pull it out. Real <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, this man lived an amazing life and he he really he, did he was a rock you know, star exactly not like, a lot of people could say that i'm envious is, let me I'm let envious. me just show you uh if you can see this that's probably yep. the best yeah we can uh, see it set, front and center is uh john john johnny micro himself john latour john latour there yeah that's, that's where he is <laughs> and uh I, I i i wish i knew some of the other band members they're all in this book by the way uh, you can get this on Amazon if you, you, you know, were interested in it. I'll and, put a uh, link you know, in the description. I, I, yeah, sure. Uh, it was really, it was really great to, to, to really, uh, celebrate his life rather than mourn so much more of his death and, uh, going through that process of grief was painful. I stayed up for like 72 hours straight. Um, yeah, I, I did. I didn't sleep for a long time, and I yep. started to get a little crazy. I remember playing Animal Crossing, and uh, there's this like little mini game where you have to guess like the color of the card. And I said it's heart diamonds or it's red diamonds, and it was exactly red diamonds. And I felt like I was a magician, but um, I don't know if that's actually true or not, guys. I'm not sure if I'm a magician. I could be. <laughs> I could be a sorcerer or something, but um, I couldn't sleep was really going through it and uh you know sean being able to reach out to you and my loved ones and my partner uh really made the difference in terms of going on you know yeah and that yeah. was cool that, i, I, I mean, really it, i really appreciated you during that time of need I and agree. other friends of mine also came to the to the viewing and funeral yes. and that made me feel really accepted yeah. and like really loved for it, 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 it's funny uh, we, we've been I've been talking about this with uh, therapy in the recent times is like self-esteem was one that I kind of wish that we talked based on but um, maybe in the future I think self-esteem would be something that we, we, we make as a topic as well Sean yeah we I mean yeah a de I want to do a deep dive into that definitely yeah. because again like yeah uh, I I struggle with self-esteem issues and yeah I know I know the grieving process is it's it's selfless and it's selfish at the same time. And that's, that's, that's okay. It's a, it's like the one time you're allowed to be a hundred percent selfish yeah, and just take care of yourself. I think you um, also have like a, a very unique, uh, 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 look on in terms of that with like your background and, uh, with your family, um, as uh, do you want to get into that topic or no? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I mentioned before, I think on this, that, um, my father owns a funeral home. Yeah. And, and you've seen, you've seen the process of death, uh, multiple times, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah. I've seen all the colors that death, that death yeah. will show you. I've seen it all. And I I've seen different families grieving differently. And I, the one thing I see in common is it's about the person, not the dead one. And I, I don't think I'm breaking new ground here at all. No, no, is, but I think no this fact. is important to say. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, you know, the one thing I've seen I noticed the most is people would just want to be heard. They just want to be heard, or they want to just have their time to just kind of feel. And I know with like you know corporate America that that time is never given to you. You know, they give you a day. They're like, all right, here's your day It feels like off. it's not enough time to for some people. No, some people need months. Some yeah. people need months. Me personally, yeah. I was accustomed to death my entire life. So death never affected me the way I've seen it affect other people. Mm. And the one time death did affect me, I, I told you a story earlier. Yeah. About uh, my, my, my living grandfather. Right, your um, grandfather. And, and. And the, that was the first death that actually affected me. And it took a month to pass till like it was Christmas time when I realized he was gone. And, you know, it didn't matter that, it, it, you know, it just, I missed his company. I grew up going to his swimming pool. I grew up going to, to his funeral home. You know, I grew up going to see him. Right. And, and he, then he wasn't there. Dude, he yeah. came to the city once with my father and brother to find me. Um, I, in, I never, I never told you. I never told you this story, John. Oh my God! Um, Please tell me. I was me. running from the cops in Medford, New Jersey. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> That's a great way to start. No, it gets story. better. It gets better. I was um, running for the police. Well, they, they had caught me with a bunch of copper wire and yes, it was like stolen. Um, I didn't copper, know. It was just copper wire. I didn't know where it was stolen from. I just, I was the guy that had it and I was stripping it and I was going to go sell it. You know, I, I guess I was the only person allowed to go to the Whatever. How much can I wait before you get to continue? How much was like a copper wire a spool of copper wire gonna? Well, gonna it was bring like a, it was three forty five a pound at that point. Ooh. Um, it's it's like the stock market it fluctuates. Yeah. I think right now it's three something. Maybe might might be a little a little more because of the. So um, it, it was pandemic. substantial in terms of like money I value. Had about sixty pounds. Um, oh my goodness. With, with and it was it was it was still had uh, it wasn't stripped yet because I was in the process of stripping it when I got caught. Right. Um. So in a, in, if you don't strip it, it has less value. I think it's a uh, 50% or 75% less than oh, wow. stripped, stripped wire. And there's, yeah, there's different grades of copper and that's a whole different topic. Um, so I, I got, I got, I, I, I didn't got mean caught. to get off course. <laughs> no, I got caught um, like an asshole. And I, I will admit I was an asshole. Um, I got caught and the cops were trying to figure out you know, they were they were good cop, bad cop in me, straight out of the movies. No way. They gave you the good cop, yes, bad cop routine. I sat, they they were they were fucking with me. They were having a ball. Fucking no with me. way. I was young. I was stupid. I I had a drug problem. Mm. So they had the one cop came in. He's like, hey man, um, you know, we know what's going on. We know you're you're sick. Where'd you get the copper wire from? And I'm like, you know, I I bullshitted something. And the next cop was like, you're fucking lying. You're at the strip yard every fucking day, you know, all this bull, you know, they, 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 were good. They, they, they were having fun with me. Now that I can look back on it, they were fucking with me. And so anyway, what ended up that night was I told them that I got the copper wire. It was given to me from somebody to sell it, which was the truth. I lied about who gave it to me. I told them a drug dealer gave it to me from Philly and all of this bullshit. And they were like, all right, well, we're going to give you some money. You're going to have him meet you at the Wawa in town. And we're going to arrest him and you at the same time. But we'll, we'll tell the judge that you were playing ball with us. So they wanted me to fucking get, they wanted me to get a drug dealer to come into Medford and get him arrested, basically. Do you know, uh, like that could have gotten you killed. That could have gotten me killed. That could have got my family hurt and yeah. killed. The Medford cops, and I, I will say this right now onto the entire air that, <laughs> um, and, and there are some good guys. There are some great cops. I love, there are some honest, there were some great cops that I that were on the Medford and Medford Lake squad that I have so much respect for. But the ones that I'm Absolutely. talking about, and they know who I'm talking about, were scumbags trying to prey on sick people for fucking money and fucking promotions and whatever bullshit they want to fucking call it. Sorry, different topic. I don't want to get into that. I'm not a cop right. hater. Right. No cops it's, hated. It, it's, dude, it's, a, it's a tough job. I can't yeah. do it. So I want someone else who's qualified to do it. The guys that made me do this weren't qualified to do their fucking job. Um, so sorry for that rant. No, it's um, okay. So basically, I wasn't going to call any drug dealer. So I fled to Philly. And I was there for about a week or whatever. Um, my dad, the, the cops came to my house, my parents' house. I wasn't living there, but they came to my parents' house looking right. for me a couple times. They thought my younger brother was actually me. And they were going to like start, they started questioning him. And they were going to like, they took out their cuffs and shit. They're they going to arrest him. Scared the fuck out of him. Oh yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, my, my, my dad went out on a mission to find me. And he went with my, he went with his mentor. That's not my real grandfather. He went with his mentor who I call my grandfather. And they went out to the city in the middle of the fucking night. And they found me. They wow. found me. I can't believe they found you, dude. I don't know how they found me either. They found me in Northeast Philly <laughs> off, off of Torresdale. You guys know, you guys power to Torresdale. Love uh, you guys. But um, <clears throat> if you're laughing, you, if you that's, there's a reason why. If you know North Philly, you know, North Philly. Um, <laughs> but, uh, they found me at walking down the street towards a McDonald's and wow. Doug, Doug my, 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 my living grandfather came out of the car. He came with him and he was probably like 70 something at the time. I'm not his, I'm not his family. He came with my father who was obviously upset and he cared about me enough to come out in the middle of the night to find me. I will never fucking forget that. No, because that is not. complete selflessness. That's complete love and caring. Yeah. And 
<clears throat> I I will never forget that night and you know, what, what sometimes that, that makes me feel like uh how we how we kind of like see how much we spend love on on things with time you know time is a great source of uh income in in, in a lot of ways and Remember, it's yeah. uh, you know it, it's it's interesting how eventually that time runs out and what are we going to do with that time how are we going to do what are we going to like put our intent towards like towards a job towards a career towards a family towards loved ones you know everybody's opinion about that is valid but it changes to individuals that's why how we are we are individuals in that sense and the way that your grandfather or your 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 mentor in that sense really truly showed his love for you was I think spending the time to find you to show up, you know, to and, you're, and, and to it. make you realize like you're fucking worth it. Yeah. You know, so, like, you know, like I was saying, a month had passed after he died and it hit me. It hit me. Mm. It, it hit me like not at once, but like it grew for like another couple months, man. You know, because I cried when it, when I first heard about it, Yeah, but I cried after Christmas I cried and, and oh. I, I had a shaky Christmas already because I had a drug issue, but it, it, and you know, the drugs numbed me for a while too. So that probably did play a, yeah. a factor. <clears throat> what a, I, I think that's what some of the, the harder drugs that I miss was just the ability to forget or like make it numb. You didn't uh, miss anything. It, no. Oh, no. thanks for that. I appreciate no. hearing that. Thanks. Um, I, yeah, you didn't. Miss I, shit sometimes I just I gotta hear that. No, I'm I'm like, all right, I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world, but I I can say I'm sorry to my parents and family mm -hmm. a million times, um, and I I am going to, through the steps of asking for forgiveness and forgiving people. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it is it's been dude. I'm it's I'm what six years off of six seven years off of that. And it's still, I'm still struggling yeah. with the emotional uh, repercussions of what I did. And some nights, you know, I'll sit in the bed and I'm just like, oh, oh fuck, I did yeah. that. Yeah, it's like fuck. a, it's like a, like a, a light yeah. bulb in, a, it's like a black light bulb we, coming on. We talked on. about that last episode, letting go, um, I, you know, and, and that's, that's kind of what I want to talk about today. John, yeah, let's talk about that. Um, I want to talk about how, and, and you, you kind of already said it how we're, we're using what we learned in our foundation, basically our foundation episodes Correct. To, to, to move forward. Yep, and, that's right. Yeah, and uh, letting go has been really, I've been bullshit letting go, kind of like fake letting go. Fake what do you mean? forgiving people. What, fake forgiving, fake letting go. Like just saying it, but not yeah. feeling it. Yeah, you, you, there's a big difference between saying what you say and feeling what you say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I feel like it's almost like the equivalent of soul fire. Like you feel it burning, it's passion in, in that sense when you start to feel like a conscience again. And what a powerful tool as like a moral um, compass. No, You know what I mean? No, like, that's, no, 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 seriously, it's actually, it's exactly what it is. It's a moral compass that I think grows in value and size the more you use it. And yeah. you can fake it till you make it all you want. Uh, but it, when the clock strikes 12 and reality sinks in again, that it's still this world, this country, and this whatever, you have to be honest with yourself. If you're not honest with yourself, and we talked about that in our episode about honesty. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you're not honest with yourself, then you're just kind of, you're just lying about, I mean, and not just, not just to you, but to everyone that you're talking to kind of because I, it's a front at that point. lying lying is a, like a like an attacking word in that sense i think yes, that, i'm sorry yeah I, I don't want to alienate anybody you know it, it, it's how we perceive reality yes i i, I and, and 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 doing so lying is a big culprit of making your reality whatever you want it, it to it be rewires your your yeah. brain uh chemistry and your signals into the language that you use it is amazing what lying to somebody like a loved one repeatedly over time, how it can warp their self image compared to how it warps your own self image. Oh my um, God. I will, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put a video in the description below okay. about the effects of long-term lying 
I, uh, I don't have it with me because I, I wasn't ready for that, but um, it's, an, it's, it's an amazing video and it shows you what it does to your face <laughs> and what, what it does to the people around you. No, it's, it's stupid. It blew my I was, mind. I, I actually want to watch this because like yes. I've been, I've been reevaluating my YouTube channel. Uh, you, you know, we, I think one of our, our topics today was like how we really spent the time in between. YouTube videos to me have been kind of stupid. Um, I, I feel like there's a lot of things that my, my, my taste and personalities has changed. And like I started watching like weird geology videos of like people pulling amethyst out of the ground. And I was like, dude, like that rock is like $30,000 worth of amethyst. I was like, that's dope as fuck. I would want to like just play in mud. Ginseng? And yeah. I, I, yeah. Like, dude, <laughs> truffles? I, truffles. Like, let's get a pig, Sean. Seriously. Yeah, I will get a pig and I will yeah. go truffle hunting well, let's right go, now. Yeah, right now. Let's go to France, get a pig, and we'll uh, find some truffles. No, you're right. Um, You're right. You just said it. You said it with, you said it naturally without me egging it on or without us talking about it. It's changed how you think now. And that goes that goes deep with me. I yeah. can't watch certain movies, and I can't play certain video games now because of my with, with my opinions on violence and anger and hate. And it's like let me let me get into a, a video game uh, for you real quick. Yeah, um, lay it on me. Now this is this is gonna tell you how old I am or how dated I am. That's a better term. I'm dated. I'm I'm still on the PS2. I haven't graduated from the PS2 yet. Uh, some people will will like that. Others will kind of whatever. But, I respect um, your retro game, your retro gaming style. I oh, really I'm, do. I'm poor, so it's, oh, okay. <laughs> I have a necessity right now, <laughs> rather than. But no, there is there, there's a love for it. I absolutely adore these games. You know, but, I found a I found like a guy selling old PS2 games, and I was gonna buy you a bunch of them. I know. Honestly. Yes, you, you you told me. I, I yeah. thought you were getting them for free. And I was. Like, I was. Yeah, no. grab them all. And then you were like, "Yeah, I'm gonna buy these for you." I'm like. No. 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 no, no. Don't no, no, defeat please. the purpose. <laughs> well, it was that a flea market though? So doesn't that? Yeah, count? I'm sure they were like five dollars each or less. Yeah, they were like ten bucks for like but, a good yeah, game. Yeah, but yeah, I you know to have someone else do it for you. I mean, unless it was like I, I a understand. holiday or something. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You know, I, I would feel like I was stealing. Uh, but now, um, in regards to like your your point of view in video games, like. I, you said something about violence recently, and I just wanted to, to what, what, is, what is your view on violence in, in the well, video game kind of feel this right is, now? This is perfect. Let me just- Yeah, uh, lay it on me because I'm down really- I'm, fucking path. Does that, does, does your, uh, your thinking also contribute to violence in video games? Yes, is that, of course. It does. Um, Interesting. It's, 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 the, it's the emotional state that you put players into. Now, I, I'm not a Call of Duty fan or anything, but I've seen people play that game, yeah. And I've seen the 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 the, the, the I've seen them waste hours and not waste play for hours and hours and hours. And it's it's dopamine hits for them, of course. But I've seen them is mindlessly shooting targets and people that are in the effigies of humans. Mm -hmm. Which you know we can take that down that that road. I don't think video games cause violence. I don't. But I do think it does something to how you observe violence. Do you uh, feel like it makes us like it numbs so us. immune to yeah, like violence yes, or, or, yes. or the susceptibility of yes. like, wow, that was really graphic. If I'm going to beat somebody with a stick, you know, or like a, a, a padded effigy of a human. Yeah. It's, it's over time going to numb me to the actual event of me hitting a human. Um, I can link down another description, another video in the description yeah, do it up, um, about, um, about uh, uh, violence for someone who's never experienced violence and violence for someone who has been raised in a violent setting with, um, or not, not a violent setting, but with, um, with karate and martial arts and, um, you know, uh, not in like the spiritual way, but in the physical way. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a, it, it, it might be a TED talk actually, but it's a, it's a great, it's a great listen. I think TED um, talk's violent. But for me, for personally me, I, I'm a, I grew up on Final Fantasy. Yeah, uh, I've said that. I said I. I, Plenty I of times, a, a, um, a big RPG fan. But go ahead, continue. My, no, my partner always laughs at me with how I say final. It's like fall, fall, fall. Final fantasy. Fall, fall, fall. Always laughs bad. at me, but I, it's, it's true. I'm a geek for Final Fantasy. Yeah, dude, there's um, nothing wrong with that. And I was playing Final Fantasy 12, and the the whole premise of the game is like you're you're a kid named Vaughn, and you want to 
live up to your dreams and live your dreams, but you end up getting in, you end up getting tangled in like this political war. Yeah. And it's a political war. It's like the, the war already happened, but now the politics is happening. And that's why I love um, that world. It's the world of uh, evilists, uh, idolists. Uh, it's the Final Fantasy Tactics world. Yeah. Um, it's always Oh, what heavy. was it? Was yeah. it Evilist? Evilist, yep. It's it's heavy. Oh, Evilist. Evilist. Yeah, okay. it, it's I, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I thought, uh, yeah, exactly. I, I, I know what you're talking about. The games are, the tactics was 100% politics. The war had already happened. Um, the, the rebel, you know, attacks were still happening. It's kind of, you know. Like Star Wars a little bit. Now we're talking we're talking GBA uh, era. If I'm no, not mistaken. no, no, I'm going to Final oh, you're Fantasy talking... twelve, uh, which is PS2. Okay, um, all right. So it's the last uh, Final Fantasy that came off the PS2. Right, right. Uh, I remember Vaughn now a little bit. Yes, and, uh, yes. And Pinello was the yes, exactly. girl bunny. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, Bashir, uh, and Bashir, Bashir was the or whatever <laughs> Fran. Yeah, there was Fran. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh. So like, uh, one of the one of like so you 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 live as like a lonely peasant boy and you grow to like learn that all, all creatures are equal. Um, Fr- Fran or Fran is, mm-hmm. um, she's like a Viera. It's yeah. a giant, uh, giant bunny lady. Yeah. Only females, rabbits. And there's, um, the, uh, giant lizard people. i I'm sorry, forgive me. I don't remember their, yeah, uh, yeah. their species names, but there's a lot of racism heavily into the game. Um, there's, there's the, the pig people and there's the, uh, the moguls. Uh, mm, the um there's racism throughout the game you know the, the humes the humes are like in charge and they treat the other um it depends on what country they're from but they treat the other species like shit mm-hmm. and you learn throughout the game that all species are unique all races are beautiful and unique and you learn to love each one of them for their characteristics yeah except however there's the a side is- no there's a side quest where you have to go around and collect trophies Trophies? trophies okay you have to hunt these these particular enemies and they only appear in certain parts of the map sporadically throughout the game and you have to get there during the times that they're there like some some places it's a it's a it's a fl- floodplain so half of the year it's, it's a you know, dry grassland right the other half of the year it's a flooded valley or whatever and you have to hunt down these unique creatures one of their kind that you have to kill them take a part of them and then bring it back to the hunters, the trophy collectors for a reward. And the whole point of the game is how unique life is and how beautiful, um, you know, different creatures are, but then you have this whole kind of, you know, the longest quest that takes, you know, it's, it's a quest that takes the entire game. Basically it, it's a side quest, but you're hunting and killing life, beautiful, mm-hmm. unique life like the most unique life on the planet we're not talking species we're talking one-of-a-kind creatures see i I love i love that in in the sense of fine why would you want to kill something that's so unique and i think there's a lot of instances where video games and media um do you kind of point that out? Like I think one, people want to hunt and kill a Bigfoot. Like, yeah, I, I think Bigfoot's a good example. I was thinking personally of a, a movie called Hellboy Two. Yes, uh, yes. The Golden Army. Oh, the fucking uh, the 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 spirit. The elemental. The, uh, Remember the, the elemental. The, the, the forest spirit. Yes. Yeah, the forest. Dude, that elemental. happens in Princess uh, Manoke too. Oh my god! Um, I was, call out to Hellboy I Two was, and Princess Manoke. <laughs> I was floored by that example of something. Yeah, dude. doing something that the world would never see again. The Dark Elf is like. No one's gonna see this ever again. Can you live with yourself? And then he does. And he, he and he's like, I but he care, has a man. yeah. Like, fuck, because he you know Hellboy is like part of that like mythical world, if you of will. Course, yes. If, if you haven't seen his own it, kind basically. Yeah. Uh, Guillermo Guillermo del Toro was uh, part of that. You know, definitely yes. see it. Excellent uh, movie. Uh, Ron Perlman Hel- like Hellboy. Pat, yeah. um, by the oh way, oh my god, Ron uh, Perlman original, as Hellboy. Hellboy. Oh my Sorry. god. Oh, we can't go. No, we're not talking about the new one. I never Ron Perlman will Ron always be my Hellboy. <laughs> yes. Um, um, another good example of that is a PS2 game that I'm not sure if you ever played, but if you could find it, I would definitely recommend it. Roddy out of Knights. Yes, I have it. Oh my God, Roddy out of Knights. Go get it, but I have it. <laughs> no, I, I I believe you, but that's such a great example of like the hero seeing 
a choice. Yeah, racism. Like, that whole racism. game is about yeah, racism. It, it really is. I the remember poor playing dark elves that. and the dwarves in that game are yeah. like, and you can pick your side. You can pick your side you too. Pick which the I human was side amazing. or the elf side. I chose. I chose. I chose the the elf side personally. I played both because I wanted to see the story yeah. differences. But right. why wasn't there a third route of like humanitarian? Like the, the, the oh, everybody come together. I, yes. I agree. Why did I have to fight in those fucking like? I, I get it. It's a game, but this is a game yeah. meant for kids. So you're yeah. teaching kids, you know, and I, some of the games, um, like Final Fantasy um, Nine, uh, teaches you the value of friendship. And mm-hmm. I know there's different races there. There's no humans in that game at all. I don't. I don't think. And um, you learn the value of friendship, no matter who, who they are or how old they are. It's a beautiful right. message. I always my like the message games. Of, yes. of a hero of, of like you know JRPGs in general. Yes, they do I have. Think- a lot of them have they, they they have the same kind of message in, in a lot of ways, which is the power of friendship. Yes. But like there, there's a lot of great examples of games doing that. But um, like, unfortunately, yeah. still has a little bit of violence in in, in some. That, context, that's my thing. You, it's like, can you have one without the other? Now, John, I'm playing a game. I'm sure you know about. It's um, it's called Okami. Um, oh, I love Okami. You, yes, Okami. You play uh, the the, the spirit, uh, Yeah, yeah. You play the the the, the wolf mother, like the, yeah, the god, the, the, the mom of gods, basically, and you kill representations of evil that not necessarily have possessed creatures, but are just the representation of the demonic form of those creatures. Right. Um, I don't think you hurt anybody in that game, but you hurt no. the symbolism that is what the evil is. And you, right. you make the world beautiful. You bring life. I loved the that world. game because Dude, of that. Uh, it's uh, such playing a comedy is such. It is, and that's exactly what I was about to say. It is a breath of fresh air because the the concept of beautifying our world. You know, I think there's great humility in terms of that. Once we realize that we live in this world too, and we can pull ourselves out of our own self centeredness for a little bit, we can really focus on like, oh my god. I want to make this place beautiful. Yeah, and I'm not talking you know? about like I'm not I'm not vilifying hunting. I think hunting, sustainable hunting, people, yeah, sustainable people hunting, survive I, off of it. People live off of it, and yeah. I, I I respect that. Trophy hunting, however, yeah, which, like which, I don't think you need to kill a rhino. Like yeah, I don't which, I, I, like you should fucking leave the elephants alone. Yeah, you need I mean, those. Fuck. And and you know I know it once had its place in our culture. I don't think in the world anymore it has its place, yeah. and. I think okaying it in video games up to that point mm-hmm. is kind of like, and it, I know it's still happening. I know there's newer games, um, Monster Hunter and shit. Oh yeah, Monster uh, yeah. Hunter is a good example of that. <clears throat> so I, I know it's still happening, but if you okay it there, I think you subconsciously okay it here. You know, live in your world, playing ours was the fucking PlayStation motto for, it might still be actually. Uh, and I, I, I don't I'm know what having, their motto is. Dude, John, I'm having a rough time with this now. Because of my awakening, I feel like, since my, my spiritual awakening, I'm having a tough time playing these old games uh-huh. where, you know, like uh, Area 51, you're shooting aliens. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know they're shooting at you, but this is another species that you've never met before. Yeah, or but Halo you know, in that regard. Remember yeah, Halo? Dude, yeah, the grunts. These grunts. grunts I'm I felt sure, awful for, like, I'm ever sure shooting grunts. they have wives and, and then they would they, at home. Ah, I remember that the, in Halo 3, right? They would throw their guns down and run away from I you. Surrender! And I still shot them. And like I still did. I was like, uh, well, okay, but it's so, still, it's I, still I, a game in that sense. Like, yes. I, I get that. And but I, I also, point. you know, dude, I, I do see that point of view though. Like I, I see people being so decentralized from their violent, you know, or or, or ways of violence. Humans like, can be very violent. I agree. And I'm not saying that we should outlaw violence in the video. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we should put it in the perspective of what it is, evil and bad, and teach those. Because I learned a lot of good lessons in video games. I did. I learned a lot about friendship mm-hmm. and overcoming differences and bullshit like that. You know, like I learned about this stuff, but it also kind of desensitized me to to the world that was the word i was looking for not decentralized desensitized no but no but i think both words work for it because uh because we all live in like a i don't know if centralized world is a thing but we all kind of live in that that, not hive mind but that 
you know, we bubble? all do you want to call all, it a bubble? I mean, well, all humans agree that gold has value. Mm. I don't think gold has any value particularly, but we agree that it does. So it has a price like Bitcoin. We agree mm. Bitcoin has this price. I don't yeah. know how it fluctuates and it's now at like $40,000 a coin. Is it? Dude, it, yeah, Bitcoin like a couple oh months ago was like 19,000 a coin. That's at 40,000 a coin. I wish I never sold my Bitcoin. Oh, I had a little bit more money now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I got um, invested into it too. Uh, well, that's yeah, okay. that's a different story. That's we'll a different time. That. I, yeah. don't, I still don't should, know what it is. Like, those shoulda, coulda, woulda taught me every day. My but. partner tries to tell me, explain to me what a cryptocurrency is. And I'm like, it's a it's decentralized a currency, currency. Yeah. I, that's all I can say. I, a, a bank or a country doesn't regulate it. Yeah. Which I think is the future, John. Which I is, think not, we should start, I, I, I agree. I think, I think that's, we should start, if we control the money, that then they can't control us. I certainly like to see it away from the central banks, personally. Yes. Um, I mean, I think the Bank of uh, the Federal Bank of the United States of America is a it's a private industry. Yeah, so it's like, a private industry. I know. It, not, it just it prints money and lessens the value of money. Yeah. Which it's, I thought it, was really fucking private, weird. It's a private company, so it has to make money. Yeah. They just makes more money, and uh, there's no consequences for that. Yes. So, there's no repercussions so coming in the future. We won't get into it too much, but I do think the future is going to be in cryptocurrencies. Yeah. And uh, I, I've I've invested a little bit back into Bitcoin. Uh, and was there it's, other it's, things that you think would be interesting to put money into? Yeah, Litecoin, Ethereum. Um, I know. What China, is Ethereum? It's the same thing. It's just. It's, it's just, just another cryptocurrency. cryptocurrency. Yeah, there's there's thousands of cryptocurrencies. Yeah. Um, you know, I think Facebook has one. It's just money that is like a stock, basically that fluctuates with how many people are buying and selling it, and how many they make available in the beginning. I think Bitcoin had- Bitcoin couple, had like a couple million, right? 12 couple, million? I, I think it was something like that. So I buy Satoshis, which are the, the decimal points of a coin. So I have like, oh. I have like 150,000 Satoshi, which if you do the math right now, it's probably like 60 something dollars. But um, uh, you know, if I, if, if I had that many Satoshis back when it was $23 a coin or $230 a coin, I'd have over a hundred thousand dollars now, so amazing you know, how quickly do those yeah, things can fluctuate. Yeah, but again, Bitcoin can go up and down in the same fucking day. Like we saw uh, two years ago in 2018, Bitcoin went from like five thousand to like twenty thousand, and then right back down to like five thousand, and stayed at like you know. 15, I don't know if you remember years. like playing World of Warcraft. Do you remember World yes. of Warcraft, dude? I was I was a level sixty. What I remember the most in terms of that, like I remember going through and grinding and doing that and killing monsters, bringing body parts back. But you know what part I like? I really kind of enjoyed the auction market. Yes, I yes, loved the concept like, of the auction market. One hundred percent player made. Such, I know, great fucking idea. Made, yeah, that was my introduction was. to the to world economy, basically. Yeah, uh, that that was um what you needed and what you were willing to pay yeah, for what you for wanted. What you wanted exactly, um, and I kind of wish that like more games focused on on those oh, I'm kind sure there's of plenty of text-based games that are just stock yeah. prices and markets and shit like that um there's a one game i used to play it was a text-based um space exploration game yeah you colonize planets what was it called um uh, no lands no man's sky no it wasn't it was no this is text-based um oh, it was text you had like a I'm screen sorry. that was like a couple planets and you'd yeah. click on the planet you want to colonize next and you'd name it and you'd industrialize it I forget the name of it, and you like you could either go into like a military direction mm-hmm. or like a you know industrial direction or ecological direction, and uh, it was basically just learning how to how to work with resources and numbers. It's kind of like a, a World Civ, yeah, or not World Civ, um, Civilization Six or Five. Yeah, so, so, uh, so, I, so I still play Civ, Civ Five. That's like my, yeah. probably my the newest game I own, but um. Well, yeah. I've never actually played any of the Civilization games. Great. I love real-time strategies. Uh, a yeah. lot of fun. You need a lot of time to play it. Like yeah. Monopoly, you can't just play in a couple hours. But, um, you know, you, you have to learn about controlling resources and, and keeping your money and where to invest your money. And it's good. It's actually lessons that you should learn in school that you don't for some reason and you learn in video games. So that's what I'm saying. We learn, we have, we, we learn a lot as kids, especially in this country from our video games. Right. I agree with that. 
I, I, I feel like people certainly like, I, I don't know how, how hip you are with games currently, but like, you remember uh, Fortnite? Have you heard Fortnite? Of course I know Fortnite. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What do you think about Fortnite? I mean, I think the phenomenon, which is Fortnite, which is going to pass because it's all online games. I think it's already passing. Fortunately passed. Yeah. Um, World of Warcraft is still going pretty strong. If I'm not mistaken. Pretty good. Yeah. They're um, still, good they're for still them. kicking Blizzard's, uh, good, Blizzard's still yeah, putting Blizzard it out there. Good for you. You, you fucking, yeah. you figured out a sustainable game. Yeah. Good job um, on that. Fortnite work on Diablo, was... by the way. I need you guys to work on Diablo <laughs> and make Diablo 4. Diablo 3 was great. Diablo, <laughs> Diablo 3 was great. But God damn it. Diablo 4 better be uh, Yeah, like I want, I want Skyrim for my, my oh Mac my God, that Skyrim can play coherently. Yeah, that would be really, that'd be nice. <clears throat> um, I haven't played Skyrim in like yeah, when years, I first bought right? it back in 2012 or something like that. Well, no, this is, this is, this is a, this is perfect that we're all, that we're talking about this because again, like, um, yeah, my, I have a lot of questions in regards my to this. views. I mean, because there's a, there's a, a pay to play games, for example, yeah. Build, they they grow overnight and then they they go away overnight. Right. And they make so much money off of dopamine hits. Fortnite I think is one of those games. I, I haven't agree. I haven't played it person I've seen it played. I've watched the let's plays. Yeah. Um it's like a Minecraft shooter. It, yeah, which, Minecraft which, which has been done before, mixed but not with as like successful. public undergrounds or yes. battle stations or I, yes. I don't know what's it's it's the pug B whatever it's called. You and know it's, what's yeah, it's it's um it, it 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 there was a great marketing strategy. They got it. They those guys figured out how to get kids to want it, and mm -hmm. what and to get parents to want to get it for the kids. All um, right. So uh, another question that I have in mind, and since we're talking on that topic of like pay to play, what about like play to win pay to win games such as I don't know League of Legends. I mean League yeah, of Legends. Idol listen, Warriors. I, I don't. I don't. Idol Warriors is a great idea. Is a great concept uh it, it are a great point uh but league uh, in that sense i think just like Heart shadow legends uh, raid or whatever yeah. no no league of legends uh, is like this like uh, uh mmo yeah uh, I've, I've played it i'm, you I'm played pretty league? sure i've owned it at one point i think yeah, like you, can, you know you can buy your way you can buy the, your to way to the top or you could buy like classes yeah. or you could buy your characters blah 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 but even still like even if you don't buy anything the objective is to get as much money as possible to buy the best gear well, let's, in, yeah. during the game. John, this is and, perfect. This is fucking perfect because what you're saying in the games that we play when we grew up, you had you had to earn it yourself. I couldn't go right. to Final Fantasy Nine and buy gold. I had to or Gil. Yeah, I had to go out. And I had get to hunt some carols or yes. not carols. What, what are uh, they called? The kurals. Well, kurals. You, you stick. We yeah. We. I mean, and I know in later editions or later releases of the game i think right. maybe now you can buy it i don't know um i don't have a ps4 or anything but uh that also kind of teaches people that there's an easy way out and mm -hmm. our world does have an easy way out and that's with money money that's an can interesting buy you point anything of view. Yeah. you want so we're teaching people at a young 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 age doesn't matter how good you are with enough money you can get what you want and I think it's like the porn industry, how it's warping our fucking ideas of how the world should work. You know, I was raised on porn, John. I don't know about you. I was I, also raised on uh, sweet, yeah. delicious porn. I, gotta, I thought I women gotta, so. should make a certain noise and act Sorry. a certain way. I thought men should act a certain way. And my first sexual encounter was very fucking awkward because <laughs> I thought it should look like this. Yeah. You Did know, it look like that? Me and a plumber going to a woman's house, whatever the uh, fucking story is. And there's a pizza involved, right? Yeah, somehow there's a pizza, and somehow, somehow she's my stepmom, too. there's a pizza, too. and now she's oh rubbing the God. pizza on the tits. <laughs> I don't like, ah. Oh. But seriously, yeah. I think, you know, yes, I think pouring has its, has its has, does have some awesome moments, and it does have its place, but the accessibility to just giving it to young, developing minds, I think is kind of a corruption. And I'm I'm gonna sound old saying that because I don't I don't think anyone should be shouldn't have access to these things. Yeah, but, I, I, but it's it, it, I think it's a huge gray area because like there has to be accountability. I, okay, but how do you explain to Timmy that Tommy down the road has Halo, whatever, and he's allowed to play it, and he's only like ten years old. And your son, your child can't play that game, but your other, like his, all of his other friends are. 
so like where do you cross the line yeah. I, I i i feel like um, I, I i understand that yeah you, you I, know what i think the, the the solution in terms of that is is to have parents read the damn uh ratings on games and i, I think mean, the that ratings kids, though the ratings need to be different i think they, they need to be updated um because the ratings it's like uh it's like censoring music um, yeah. you can't just censor music because you're censoring specific people you're censoring words that show expression and show inner rage and turmoil like i know when um the 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 music first were getting rated it or uh, you know uh you know explicit lyrics it was right. usually to attack rap music or heavy metal music it was you know it was it was i remember those i yes. remember like you know i i think it was was that late 90s or was that like beginning of like gangster rap? And... I think late Oh, 80s. you're going back into the 80s. Yeah. Okay. Either way, dude, it was it was a it was a racist move. It was a systemic racist move that the moms back then didn't know any better because they yeah. were told by their you they know told, the they were higher, told by the higher ups yeah. that this was uh, gonna corrupt your kids and this is yeah. evil. And the rap music is culture, it's expression, it's it's their art, their language is how they feel and how oh, they're no. taught too. Okay. okay. No, you're good. Um, so, okay. like, it's... I froze up a little bit on my end. Don't worry about the freezing up. I, I, I am recording all yeah. this. So okay. We'll be all right. good. All right, no problem. No problem. All right. Um, no, but, like, so I don't think straight up censoring video games or limiting access to I'm not saying games. censoring. Yes. I, I'm just saying, like, it, it, people education, need to be aware of, education like, what's in those happen. games. And I do think it lies yeah. in the parents' hands to not let TV or games raise your kids. That's yeah. it, man. Because but like, my... I gotta, yeah. I gotta say, like, games like Doom, Resident Evil... Um, even things like these are like all horror, horror gory games. I, I, that's uh, a little too much for me personally. I think Doom's too much for me. I gotta say, like I'm just gonna flat out <laughs> say it. It's not for me. Like some people can really enjoy, like you know, grabbing the Slayer guy and beating it in the head of some demon pretty graphically. Good for you, really. I mean that, but it's just too much. I don't like the gratuitous amount of violence in certain yeah. games. I think it's too much. I, I also think, feel like I that, mean, and, and, and like, and, and certain, like, I can't watch Saw for that same exact reason. I couldn't yes. watch Green Inferno Good, for that same perfect reason. Perfect segue. I was going to go yeah. into movies and the current state of Hollywood. Into some movies? Yeah. Yes. John. Yeah. I grew Let's up, I grew up in the 90s. Because, like, I feel like, this is where I feel like glorified violence happens the most. Yes. This, this is where, to me... Like, yes. Even if as simple as like the Avengers, which is like supposedly like now a family movie, right? As they Still destroy cities, pretty heavy they violence. destroy yeah. cities. Yeah, they're killing and, like, species, systems, countless they, species. That half the universe disappeared. I was like, and I'm gonna cry over I, fucking I, I Captain get America the, like, or the ramifications whatever. Right. Right. I don't yeah. know if you got Spider Man's dead. Are you serious? Yeah, exactly. Can't do that. Yes. Yes, yeah. dude. Um, perfect. There's a movie I just watched on um, Netflix called The Old Guard. I recommend no one see this movie because it's How was that? shit. Oh. Um, the whole purpose <laughs> of the movie, it was these yeah. like four immortal, immortal soldiers, and they were like, they've been like placed okay. on Earth to help move society in the right direction, but they do that by killing countless people over the ages mm -hmm. they're constantly killing people they're immortal and all they know is like oh we will the only way humans learn is by killing them in mass numbers and they throw right. like this gratuitous like uh homosexual couple in there that's that's written by two white guys that have never loved another man and <laughs> the whole movie is just written i know i know it comes from a comic book or whatever but the violence doesn't justify the message that the movie is trying to portray Right. And I'm finding that in a lot of new movies now. I think we're smarter, we're better, we're more connected. The gratuitous violence in movies, I feel like is it had its place in the 80s and the 90s, you know? It came yeah. out of the 70s. Like, it, don't get me wrong. Like, I really like Predator because yeah, that I guy's fine came out, you know? But I don't but think People are dying. You're killing. Yeah. For movies today, um, 
I watched Ryan Reynolds a couple months ago kill a whole bunch of people that had families, that had wives and kids. Are you talking about and Deadpool? No, no. I, six something, nine, whatever. I don't know. Oh, some, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, like I'm watching people that have lives, wives, families, husbands, mm -hmm. kids. I'm watching them die like that. And in our reality, we look at that as a tragedy. But in the movie, oh, it's fun. It's entertainment. You know That's what, uh, where my problem is now. Yeah, I, I and I, I see that point of view. You know, I really do. I think that people, there's a lot of great movie examples that I can think of, like, for instance, Revolver. Have you ever seen Revolver with Jason uh, Stratum? Uh, I, I don't think so. I would recommend it if you're a Jason Stratum kind of guy. I know. I, I love him. I love yeah, that. I, I, I thought I, you were. I do but, think he's. It's Amazing. a very, it's a very <laughs> cerebral movie in the sense that it, it, it really, I, 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 I'm saying this to you specifically, Sean, this is a good movie for you to watch. Yes. Because yes. you like those kind of mindfuck kind of things. And I think remind that you would, me, remind me, text I will, me. I promise. Yes, I'll, I'll text it to you. I, I'll, I'll be looking for a movie tonight. <laughs> yeah. And I, guys, I, I live on movies. I yeah. live on movies. I love Hollywood. I love cinema. Oh. I love, I love watching the Academy Awards. I yeah. don't know how fake and bought it is this is this is one of my hobbies this is one of my passions ask my partner this is my passion cinema is what i love mm -hmm. I, I, think... I i see that and i and, and uh remembering those conversations in the past with you about how you uh perceived movies and uh i've always looked to you for like really good recommendations i I'm, what was that robin williams movie uh where he he tries to find his wife or he tries to find his, his what dreams soulmate. may come what well, dreams may come what a yes, beautiful movie dude, and i remember dude. watching that with you for the first Still time you know what up. else i remember yeah what? the um uh funny games funny dude. games will never leave my head to talk about the but violent movie funny games that was the that that's that, that was made to show us how fucked up it is yeah that movie was made twice not you know, twice mind you i think you, german, the, the first american. was some german yeah well the, the german Dude, i've never seen one um it, I've never seen it's, the german it's one. supposed to show you because it's a it's a meta movie about how we're okay with violence and that movie makes the violence not okay yeah it makes it not okay Oh my and god! It, it, it was not okay. It. I was like, I was oh, not okay. That I, fucking traumatized I had dreams. Me. I like, I had nightmares about that movie. I was yes. like, I can't believe fucking Sean showed me this. God, dude! <laughs> if you if you're curious, go watch Funny Games. It yeah, go watch it you. yourself. But uh, you know, don't talk to me about um, it. Please. Or Irreversible, Irreversible. Um, glorif that doesn't glorify. It shows. I've never the, seen the it Irreversible. It shows. It shows rape happening in real time. Oh, really? And dude, it will fuck with you. Um, uh, the, the director is a, he's a, he's an amazing, a Gaspar Noé, I think his name is, is an amazing director by showing reality, not Hollywood reality, because he, he shows gritty movies that make you cringe, like, and Irreversible is called Irreversible because you will never get it out of your fucking mind. It's shot backwards. Yeah. Um, kind of like shot Memento. backwards, really. Oh, it's like, like Memento. It starts okay. to end and, and kind of like Pulp Fiction scene, in that sense. Um, works its way uh, forward. Okay, um, like a well, Pulp Fiction was just at, was just out of whack. Um, oh, like, okay. I, I mean, like this is starts, actually it, it starts in reverse in that sense. Yeah, it, it starts, starts at the end it and it works its way end, in the beginning, and then you realize why That's this guy's killing someone else. And What's you it realize called again? It's called Irreversible, John. Irreversible. I honestly I don't recommend it because it's gonna fuck um, with me. I I I think rape is atrocious, mm -hmm. but I do think it's a reality that we have to know and learn and understand. Mm -hmm. And that movie helped put it in my head, how fucking real and horrible it is, but how it's also, it's a mental illness too. Yeah. So it's fucked up on both ends because I don't want to hurt the guy who's raping because he's mentally ill, but what he's doing is the worst fucking thing that I can think of next to eating children. Yeah. So it, it, I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't want to put my opinion out there because I don't think I'm right. And I don't want to be a, a accused of, of being sympathetic for people that I, I think everyone should get sympathy, but I, I don't want to get into that either. Right. Um, but uh, dude, uh, that movie left a scar on me. You know what movie scarred me was um, 
no, 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 uh, no country uh, for old men was no, no, scarring. that, that was, that was a scarring movie. I, I'll give you that. So was, uh, there will be blood, but yes. what I was thinking of the first time was, uh, ah, why does it keep slipping out of my head? Did you guys say children of men? Children of Men, thank you. Dude, that's my favorite movie of all time. Oh, is it really? Alfonso oh. Cuarón, dude. Oh, Children of Men gets stuck dude. in my head. Like the scene where that's he, today. That's where what we're living today, dude. Where he literally carries the baby through the the. Dude, it, yeah, Children of Men. You it's, know what I'm talking a, about. It's a it's a one shot. It's a one track shot. It's a one track shot the, the, the entire the, time. The slums of a degrading city during the Civil War or like a, a insurgent war. Insurgent war in dude, Europe or in the UK. It's amazing. Yeah, such um, a good that movie, movie makes so much more sense today. It does. Than it it's did so relevant back in right now. Um, yeah. To, Children to, of Men to give a quick a synopsis, um, women become infertile. Yeah. And it's not really spoken if men are the problem or if women are the Nobody, problem. Yeah, they, they, they don't really specify yeah, they that. They don't specify into that. But, it's, but it's, what, it's what happens to the world after kids are no longer born. Yeah. And it's been uh, 18 years, I think. I think the, 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 the movie starts with the youngest man or the youngest person in the world dying yeah, get, yeah, at the yeah, age getting, of Getting 18. killed or something, yes. And yeah. then it, it's... It's how unstable the world is oh, after yeah. all hope is basically taken away of right. the future. Of a future, and yeah. It's, it's it's a beautiful because it's I think it's so true and honest in its representation of what it would look like. And I know this for a fact because I lived through 2020 and I can tell you <laughs> I'm so, not really it, hopeful yeah. for half of humanity because I think we'll eat each other. Given the fucking look at the Capitol, what happened in the Capitol last week? Oh my um, God, yeah. And uh, we, since we were talking about police, I, I think it's only right and fitting that we we give our condolences to the uh, the five people who lost their lives during yes, the uh, riots, and, and, and especially today, the, the, uh, John. The, 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 oh, there was yeah. one more. Um, there was another one. Uh, the 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 security uh, officer, the head security of of the Capitol Police. Was uh, that killed, the he, no, was that the police officer? Himself. Oh my God, did yeah. he really? Um, I wow. just read that today. Now the article was like they don't know if it's if it's connected or whatever, but he was working that day, and he's dead now. So I'm not gonna. I don't want to draw the line. Yeah. But no, this is gonna have a ripple effect for a while. Not only I, have people been traumatized, but people have lost their lives, and this is this is perfect. Like we glorify this. If this was a movie, we'd be like, <laughs> but in reality, it's not fucking funny. No, it's it's, it's, it's like a, a nightmare it's in reverse. Frustrating. It's embarrassing. Yeah. I yeah. dude, I want to fucking cry thinking about it right now. And yeah. I, I don't want to get political in this. No, in this, it, in these it, talks it, ever. It, in amongst friends, we try to keep things very yes. non-political uh, for a reason. We don't. We're our our, our goal is to unite uh, the the people. Uh, everybody's message here. Um, and, yes, and, and not safe, bring politics safe, safe, in, into the place, into man. the this perspective. Is a safe place. I want to hear what people. I want to hear what, what you want to. I hear, I want to hear it. All right. I want to talk about it. Yeah. And like right now, like I couldn't have this conversation with anyone else about movies and video games. Yeah. Because I probably get laughed at, or you think you the, get laughed at? I think the about these things all the time. I think the conversation would end quickly. I've had kind of mock conversations with other people, and you know, earlier this year, mm -hmm. and. It, it always ended kind of like on joking terms or like haha -ha terms, and you know that's why I think this is this is a perfect platform and place to talk about this because I don't again I don't have the answers, I don't have the answers of what to do, but I know it has to start with education, and with allowing people to to feel and love. Man, I think we need more. And I know positive movies and positive TV shows don't sell. And that's just the symptom of the reality that we live in. That you know, reality TV is drama filled. Oh my god! Or the movies are so much death and like, like Captain America or like mm -hmm. Avengers. Are the Avengers? Um, there's so much violence, so much destruction. I liked um, Batman vs Superman. Touched on it briefly. I di I didn't watch Batman vs Superman. Dude, I heard they, bad things dude, about it. Oh no, they they touch on it briefly. Bruce Wayne hates Superman because Superman destroyed Gotham City basically, or um, capital city, whatever, whichever one right. it was. And Metro City. Yeah, he's angry at Superman because of the destruction he caused, and that's legit. That's a legit. Yeah, concern argument. And they kind of like ruin it with the ending and whatever. But um, you know, and uh, I know Tony Stark has a lot of PTSD 
and he struggles with with what he's done. And I know he wants to he wants to sign that that agreement that that holds Avengers accountable or um, yeah I think that was like the whole point of Civil War after yes, yes. after and Ultron or something so like they that do I touch on it but then they go completely off planet yeah. back to killing thousands of people so they 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 show the reality they show the truth but it's like it's like. Eh. It's like a, it's like a dot. It's like the period of the sentence. You know, it makes the sentence, but you don't really notice it. You know, and you, you notice the fuck in capitals. So yeah, I mean that's that's where I'm at with with games and fucking movies today, John. I can't wow. watch it without having we... a fucking mental clusterfuck. Yeah, I, I, and I don't think that's a bad thing, honestly. No, I don't. I, think I don't it's, think it's, it's a way. It's spiritual awakening. It's it's. it's I agree reality. with that. You know, and, and being, I've always said that you can't fight what you don't know. And I think a lot of times we're kind of like on autopilot when it comes to media and television and violence and just distractions in general, you know, no, I, mean, I, I think there's a lot of things fighting for our attention, Yes. Uh, whether it's, you know, whether it's on your phone like i hate I, i'm i'm not sure if you get this on your phone or not sean but my phone tells me how much time i still i i like looked at it or John, stared i just at had it. the screen time on my computer pop up yeah it's down four percent from last oh week. is it i'm up 44 so, percent which so is like I'm not 22 doing hours it's still the 22 hour period yeah. which is still a lot of fucking hours. And that's a lot of fine, like <laughs> devoting your face in front of a screen. Yeah, my phone, I honestly, John, I don't, I don't, I don't have uh, Instagram or any social media, so I don't, I don't, oh, I'm you. not glued to my phone. I've been, but I've been I'm, in but, a but, real but John, bad Twitter, like uh, Twitter hole, if you will. I'm glued to everything else. I'm glued yeah. to YouTube. I'm glued to um, HBO Max now is my new fucking there thing. There you go. Yeah, HBO Max is great. Um, I got Disney Plus too because I had to see Soul. Uh, go out and oh. see Soul, everybody. Uh, excellent fucking yeah, film. Yeah, excellent movie. Uh, um, I, I really, I, I love that movie. I got Pixar, Pixar. It's a did Pixar a great film. Job. It's, a, it's an adult film dressed as a Pixar as film. A, dressed as a Pixar film. Great and it brings fucking in job, such guys. insight as to what happens after life. I mean, yes. And or, I, the what a concept to teach yes. children too. Because, yes. you know, that's what I'm talking about, John. That, education, dude. I think that, you know, education and, like, you know, making people more mindful, more soulful. Uh, that was my next I, topic I was going to talk about. It's such a powerful tool of change. John, know? John, this is perfect. This morning, I had a, I had my little meditation session. We yeah. talked about this uh, a couple episodes ago. I've been meditating now for about two months, and... Let me tell you. I really like the little meditation that we did just before Dude, the show. Let me tell you. This morning, I woke up. I was kind of fuzzy, foggy on how I felt. And I listened to a, a Duncan Trussell uh, family hour, um, mm -hmm. one of my favorite fucking podcasts. Go check out Duncan Trussell, please. I'll, 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 I'll have to uh, check that out. Uh, and that's for everybody. Go check out Duncan Trussell. He is Duncan he's, Trussell. He's one of our leaders, man. He's up oh. there. He's up there. Um, now he's great. He, he'd be our friend, John. All right. Really? Um, you think yes, so? He'd be our friend. Yes. Word up, dude. Yes. He's, 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 uh, he's great. Um, but, um, they were talking about, um, you know, world events and whatever. And I just needed to turn it off, sit down. I put my headphones on. I put on the meditation playlist on Spotify. Mm -hmm. I breathed in, breathed out. It, did you all know, your breathing. 20 minutes went by like that. And I came out of it like high on fucking life i texted mm. a whole bunch of people how are they doing how are they you know kind of like genuinely caring how they are and i reached out to my partner i said a whole bunch of things that i kind of wanted to say the past couple months and yeah like good things about how i appreciate them and how you know you know it's it the mindfulness that it, it's helped create for me to i mean i still have my episodes of like freaking out and i saw oh, my episodes those, of like those reaction. things don't go away like th th it's not like those things are gonna like disappear but my still but part of you. how i how i used to react in anger um, oh yeah is going away that. that's going away now i feel um, that too i feel like my ability to handle anger or handle emotions that make me feel bad let's say threatened or like afraid Threatens good yeah yeah 
those things I kind of react to differently now because yes. I'm, 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 I'm digesting them a little bit rather than yes. spitting those things back perfect. out. Perfect. That's perfect fucking words right there. Yeah. I'm digesting the ideas. I'm digesting the ideas. Before reacting to them. And that goes for like how, you know, hearing other people's opinions. Right. I had a great, we already talked about this, John. I had a great episode last night with um, an old friend where, you know, I could have reacted violently and angrily right back through text you know like well right. like give me the you. old F you like you're you typing know? with your middle fingers yes but instead i i put the phone down went for a walk and came back to centered came back to where you know i reached out to you i reached out to someone else and i was looking for instant gratification of like telling them my side of the story so i could be like told i'm okay and i'm right right but it ended up like fuck that's wrong i i i i'm okay with how i feel it doesn't mean I'm right. And I don't think I'm right. I just know what feels good and right for me. And that is mindfulness. And that I think is what meditation can bring everyone. I recommend it. Totally agree with that. Fully, dude. I really do. Cause like everybody has an opinion very much like everybody has an asshole. Yes. Like, and, and those things are going to be challenged some or smelly, some differently. Right. And like that that doesn't mean they're wrong no, that doesn't yeah, mean yeah. like you're mine's, not valid mine's, yeah exactly like i you know i'm wrong and right most of the time and not most of the time i'm wrong a lot of the time when it comes oh, to my my, my partner relationship i am wrong 90 percent of the time god damn it yeah oh i've done some damage that i i'm still trying to make up for it <laughs> And I really hope, like, I and, yeah. and it's and it's always going to be like that, you know. And and, even in past relationships, dude, I want to reach out to past relationships and start apologizing because I've put people in positions or loved ones in positions that didn't ask for it, that felt the repercussions and the negative effects of it. Now I just kind of walked away. Like this shit is how, now what's how haunting big? me. Yeah. Oh. No, it's I mean, haunting it's you? little things. It's 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 a bunch of little things that turn into a big thing, because yeah. it's been five, six, seven years now, and I'm still thinking about that time where, you know, they cried their eyes out in front of me because of of a slip up or a fuck up, and then I that moment was the catalyst that made the domino fall over to where the real shit started happening, and. You know, I'm accountable for all those choices and actions, and I want to I want to reach out in a in a healthy way, and give my 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 sincere apology. I talked to a friend today, actually, after my, after my meditation, that I I ended up like hooking up with a girl that he was trying to hook up with, and it was this whole thing, and I was selfish and and blinded and drunk, and you know he ended up like hating me for a while, and it, it kind of put us on a weird relationship level. He, he eventually got, got over it and I got over it, but I never apologized for it. And I know that was a fucked up situation. So I, I, I just talked to him today about it. I'm like, you know, there's a couple situations where I know I did you wrong. And I want you to know that I'm, I never meant to hurt you and I'm sorry. And I know there's times that I can't remember because I was blackout drunk. And I apologize for those times too, because I never meant to hurt you because me and him still talk. And that's a blessing in today's world to have a friend Absolutely. live so many states away and be able to keep a relationship. Um, shout out to Steve, by the way. Love you, man. Um, uh, seriously. Uh, he's probably my, he probably went, he's, like, I think he's my one subscriber to my YouTube channel. So he that's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. As long as he's subscribed. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Thanks, no, Steve, for subscribing. No, it took me what? five years to realize that i was you know to, to apologize to him john i apologize to you about a couple things too oh yeah and, and i i know there's some that i don't remember john because we were young oh sean but, there's not a lot no 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 i was a dick because i we i used to make fun of like certain things and i it was my comedy that's how i related and that was my um this is actually a perfect segue uh, my sense of humor growing up is not appropriate today. At, mm. Sorry, at all. It's not appropriate at all. And I used to confuse people when I would go because I, I grew up in the I grew up in, in you know small town white town. When yep. I went to the city to hang out with other friends and said those same jokes, 
heads they didn't turned get it. at yeah. me like you can't fucking say that shit here and you know I, I, I again my sense of humor growing up wasn't appropriate and i'm realizing that today and i still kind of reach out in little ways with that same right. kind of cultural sense of humor that that cultural awareness that in a conversation a night ago got me into the whole kerfluffle right. and i'm realizing that now that it's, I, it's okay to be wrong but you have to apologize for when you are wrong and not dig your heels in and be like well it's all i know so fuck you right and yeah, i think like, that that we talk you're talking about something like like character defects a little bit Yes, you know, and how we relied on character defects as, as like almost a tool of survival, you know. I, and I, one of that comes to mind to me almost immediately is cynicism. Uh, for me personally, I'm a very cynical person. Um, uh, nobody knows when I'm being sarcastic or not or sincere. Like that's really hard for me to yes. like, you know, Same. and like I'll say something like, "Oh, that's great," and like my partner will be like do you really mean that's great or are you just fucking with me? I'm like, no, like seriously, like that's, that's, no, like, I, that's really I, good. I hit the same roadblocks, dude. Yeah. We're, we're both dry. We both have a dry sense of humor. Dry sense of humor. And it's hard to read that. I've been told yeah. that multiple times, dude. I've been told that a lot. And like what I'm starting to learn is like, I need to, uh, just like we were talking about walking the walk, you know, sometimes I'm able to do that part walking the walk, but it doesn't match up to what I'm saying. And, um that confuses people that that especially with text messages i don't know how you are with text messages uh a lot of times they get lost in translation with me yes because dude, I, it happened I, to me last night <laughs> oh my god like i, was I like, can't i can't spell i can't write i'm not a writer but i mean i think like a writer, i'll just I'll, like a I'll just put like yeah and somebody be like that's it that's all you gotta say yeah. i'm like yeah <laughs> seriously yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i'm saying in my head that's fucking amazing yeah but i just put yeah yeah or yes you, what, you want an exclamation point to go dude, with it like i don't understand that like like why are you being so short and cold with me i'm like yeah sure. cold, cold is definitely cold is definitely something that i've gotten a lot too. yes and i'm like i'm sorry yeah that's but not, it's true that's not it's, my intention and, and that's my fault i need to pick up the phone more and talk more um, I still struggle with that. I, yeah. I, I mentioned this way back in the beginning of this of this uh, series. Right. And my, um, my, my personal fear is emails. Uh, if I'm going to, you know, I'm not sure if I brought that up or not in the, no, you in did. the past, no, you but did. email is definitely my you told me nemesis. Was, yes. Uh, and, when it comes dude, to anxiety. Where, that's where I shine. I shine. Oh my God. I hate that, dude. I, I hate it. answering emails. I hate looking at my email. Because you it live in like, an email. I use emails to express my opinion. You use it as a way of of of. Um, I've only seen it. I've only seen it as a way of production or business. Yes, that's the only thing I've seen. That's how phone as. calls are with me. It's someone either bitching to me or yeah. complaining to me or trying to get a hold of me for money. So I have made phone calls evil because that's yeah. what they are to me. But emails are my way of of getting my gratification. It's like Good text. I, same I way with text, though. That. You know. Yeah. Oh, John, we do have it because you have you already have it in other media and other forms. We're just nitpicking the platform that it's coming on, and that's a defect with us. I think we should write that down tonight on a on a blank on a blank sheet of paper. We should write down our our, our defects right now and next week. You want you want to write down some defects? Not, no, the no, week? not right now. Okay. I I'm, I'm going to after this. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I think, I think that defects may be a challenging word as well. Defects don't mean you're deficient. It, it doesn't mean in, 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 necessarily bad. Right. I, think. I just think, it I don't think it can means be bad, bad either. for you. But like a, a character defect is, you know, something that you may want to change. Let's say like we talked about lying a little bit or dishonesty, and that could certainly be a, a character defect. That could certainly turn into something that gets beyond your control, your level of comfort and your control ultimately. Yes. Absolutely. But um, let's, I mean, there, there's certainly a lot of good things that I can bring up in terms of that. I talked about the sarcasm. I talked to, you know, we talked about anger in the past, obviously uh, our, our um, 
depression. It, it, the list goes on and on, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Um, but now we're aware, and we and can, now we're and, aware, and, and like like watching the games and the movies. Now I can start to work on what was wrong and making it right. And it goes again with me apologizing to people. I'm mm-hmm. able now to take myself out of the equation and look at what I've the effects that I've had. Let me ask and, you this in, in terms of like yes. forgiveness uh, and you're, you're going through your list of people. Um, how do you feel afterwards once, once you uh, usually complete one of these? Well, it's, it, it's, it's, it doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen. No, in, it, it, I, I mean, get, I get honestly, like what happened this morning. Yeah. Tell me one, about this morning. There was one person that I knew I had to reach out to. And I think it happened, it happened when you feel like it has to happen. You can't, I can't just go to my brothers and start apologizing. You right. know, I have to wait till it's like, I feel it in my heart. Like, you know what? I'm genuinely sorry. And I'm ready to move on from this. I'm ready to let go of this feeling and that, that, that memory. Right. I think it has to come into the right season. Like we always do, we always think about the work and the labor, right? And the labor of love in this scenario, right, is is the process of you getting better, you know? And sometimes that just doesn't happen in the right seasons. Dude, it's, like, it again with the, the friend you can't, there, you can't you can't grow like potatoes in winter. It doesn't no, you're work right. That way. You're you're also right. It it time is is the is time is part of the equation. Right. Because I, I can fake it and make it happen a week later. Right. Or I can let it sink in, do its damage or whatever. I uh, damage is the wrong word, but um like like with my friend uh today, you know, like you know, it it took me five years, six years to like to not to, to to forget about it, to not think about it. Yeah, and, then and you talked also about, about instant gratification in that sense. Yeah, like I, I think I think a lot of times we are very selfish, you know, and that instant gratification is something that we immediately want to fix. But when we burn so many bridges, there's it's, there's yeah. not a whole lot of no, I'm not again. I, of, I'm not I'm not encouraging talking and apologizing to somebody that you mm. really hurt and yes talking sometimes to them like is i think that could cause more them. damage yeah yes. absolutely you apologize when it's beneficial to both parties mm. not just you not just them and again the one the guy I talked to today it wasn't he didn't he didn't he never thought about it again he moved on he had already forgiven and moved on i hadn't because i was selfish so, you know, me reaching out to him, it was, it was just, a, it was just another conversation with him. He was like, yeah, don't worry about it. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. And I'm like, thank yeah. you. And the relief, <laughs> the relief that comes with it. Dude, I was fucking, you know? I was flying. I was this morning. I do. I, I cleaned my bathroom. I cleaned all the <laughs> dishes, dude. My apartment, it, you know? my apartment's spick and span right now, but man. But see, this is why we say it's like an inside job. We talked about foundations. We talked about where we want to be with that. And the, the, the broader the base, the higher the point of freedom in a lot of these scenarios where we can start to develop the foundation and work our way up in that sense. And I, I, find, I find us kind of doing that you know i I don't know about you but i've been feeling a lot of personal freedom not gonna happen overnight i have to get the instant gratification which comes with uh drug use or online the online world video games you can apply it to whatever your distraction gratified right away distracted perfect word yep and healing and growth is you got to put the time and the effort into it and i'm starting now and we're 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 a, a month and a half into the podcast. I'm two yep. months into my spiritual journey, my real honest spiritual journey. There you go. And I'm starting to see the benefits. And I, I've only, what I've read and learned is it only goes up from here. And if I can, I have, I still have a bunch of demons that we're going to talk about in future episodes. I still got a bunch of shit going on. And if I can conquer those mountains, and I know a couple of those mountains are going to really help a lot of men 
um, in my position, my age, um, especially. Um, once we get to those and wave the fucking flag of, of not victory, but of understanding and appreciation, then that's where real, the mountain grows from there. It grows to the heavens. It grows to the unknown. And I'm excited for that. I really am. For the first time, I'm not just saying this to a counselor or to a therapist to please them or to get no. something. I'm saying this to a friend. Yeah. And, and and to all our other friends listening as well. Yes. And it's just, it's, I'm, I'm the one benefiting. And I think we can all benefit from the journey and the experience together, you know, and I, think I couldn't have said it better either that's way. That's the most important that's, thing. I think, yeah. I think, John, I can learn from you. I, yeah. I have learned from you. Yeah. We I learned, learned from, from you back when I wasn't knowing I was learning from you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> oh, and my partner met you right away. She knew there was something different about you. Like right away. It was like, oh, he doesn't seem like you at all. Like, why do, why does he like you? I'm like, well, thanks. Well, thank you. First of all, <laughs> well, yeah. she knows the she knows the cynical, sarcastic yeah. asshole. Right, right, and right. You were this light of like optimism. I just kind of walked in, you know. And, well, we, you know, we, we we needed that for each other, Sean. Yes, and I, I think yes. I think that's uh, that's not a bad thing. You know, I what I've learned throughout my twenties and now into my thirties is that people really aren't meant to be alone. No. You I mean, know, some we're not, people we're, can make it happen. Some people can make it Good happen. For them. And like, yeah. But like, I feel like them. a social creature, you know? Yes. And I want that to be known. And I Which want is, people to feel comfortable yes. as, as, as that. Yes. Um, because, uh, yes, I think we both had a million things we wanted to say today. Yeah. We and... had so many things that, like, we had so many great topics tonight about, uh, you know, cultures of video games and, and, uh, and how we, come. how far we've come, our perspectives on those things with violence, uh, so many great ideas and concepts of uh, what we're seeing today, comparatively, and uh, knowing that some of the things that we picked up aren't really valid today. No, not at all. I mean, and I don't say valid. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying that people who believe this are wrong because I love Lethal Weapon. I love Predator. Uh, I love the movies that glorify male action, hotness. Fucking hell yeah, dude. Really sexualized, yeah. sexy men. Doing and women. Yeah. Sexual it's, it's, shit. And they, like, you know, I'm thinking women, of like aliens. Not as much as men. Uh, <laughs> not, true. I understand. I don't know what it is about the Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but man. No, I, I mean, he's like, he's today. I'm talking uh, about like. Oh, you're Ar talking about like Ar Arnold? Or like, you're, you know. You know, yeah. fisting another get, man. Get chopper. Oh, dude, it was so much going on. I was so young. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, I remember a little woman in that movie. I think only one. I don't know, dude. It I think there was a woman in that movie. <laughs> yes. I, I know there was a predator. Yes, and the predator. And it wasn't Arnold. Was gonna fuck everything up. Um. Oh my god! And he tried. Remember yes. when he got hit with the log? Yeah. Damn. Dude, I, I know. I, I love how primitive. I know how primitive. Yeah, Freud, fucking mud and beat the predator. Technology, yes. Yeah. He's fucking. Oh, idiot. mud's gonna hide his skin. Come on, it's an oh, alien. No, elephants do it. I think elephants no, do elephants it to like to regulate their blood, their yeah. temperature. Yes. Yeah. All right. oh, uh, I think here. other animals do that, but regardless, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to Amongst Friends. We are so happy that you uh, tuned into this awesome episode. Uh, we wish you the best in 2021, uh, and thank God. And uh, you got through 2020 just with us, and uh, we wouldn't be here without you. We, you know, we mean that sincerely. Let's be honest, it wasn't just with us; it was with every other fucking yeah. uh, support network and group and talk that we've ever had. And again, I'm talking to like all seven of the listeners. Yeah. Uh, well, we just passed a hundred friends or a hundred followers on um, SoundCloud. Wow. Uh, so that's we're, really we're, great we're, you know that i mean that's uh, we're in the triple digits now um we had over i think over our two-week break we had 20 people join us on instagram which wow i, I didn't seek out i uh I, they found us congratulations on finding us first uh, of all I mean, let, I, let me tell you because like i have not made it easy for you guys to find us uh, um, yes yes uh i mean me either i i haven't really 
I kind of like the grassroots. Yeah, we're we're style. we're very grassroots based right now. And I know that's slow, John. It's going to yeah. be slow, and the community isn't going to happen tomorrow. It's going to happen over time, and I think we, that's why it's it's important that we stick to our core values now. Yes, more uh, than ever. Wanting to start a support network, not just for men, uh, but for uh, our people our age and even older and younger. Um, yeah. I, I think it's really important because we've already opened the door, the floodgates of feeling and emotions. And I think it's really important to kind of, to keep that network and that community going. And I mean a community, I don't mean like, uh, you know, YouTube comments, which, which can be amazing and horrible. Um, if you want awesome comments, go to, um, uh, give me one second. I'm going to find the um, uh, psych to go on youtube psych to go is a great channel they have over four million subscribers uh they do amazing like, they four do, million yeah they do five minute videos of like um like like wellness uh, like stuff a, a 10 reasons that you that you are toxic or Ooh. 10 reasons why you should hold on to your partner or 10 reasons why uh or six subtle behaviors that make others like you instantly um, it's, 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 um, it, you know, six, you know, it's usually like, it's a, you know, top 10, top six lists of, you know, they're like, they're like subtle realizations of who you are psych to go on YouTube. I highly recommend them. And the comment section is full of support. I've never wow. seen support like this ever. I can go to that comment section and drop a bomb of like how I am horribly feeling and I'll get 56 fucking comments. Like, Hey That's man, I, I'm right there with you. Uh, we're all getting through this together and I do the same in return. I, I'll read a comment and I'll be like, Oh my God, this person is me. And I'll, I'll throw in what I'm doing and how I'm trying in the steps that I'm doing to better myself or what I think would benefit them. And I've got Absolutely. nothing but the same in return. Psych to go. I will put them in the comments below or the description below on uh, SoundCloud and on YouTube, uh, Spotify. I think you get the SoundCloud. Yeah, hopefully. RS, RS feed, I think. Um, I wish I was better with technology. Uh, uh, John, I got the RS feed. I got I, I, I got the distribution down. I, I, mean, I feel I feel like I, I, I feel confident in what you're doing. And I'm honestly, I was surprised to... Uh, to, to get as many followers that we have so far. Yeah, like I was surprised to get on Spotify, actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't know our Spotify stats. I, do I don't know, know either. SoundCloud stats. I know that we get mostly listened to in like uh, the United Kingdom and in the Pacific uh, Northwest. And, Perfect areas for us. And the Northeast. Ooh, uh, we get the Northeast I, too? We haven't gotten any Texas listeners yet. I don't think okay. so. We'll get um, there. If, you, if you're from Texas and you're listening... Yeah. Give Let us me a know. thumbs up can, can, and, and shout out. I would yeah, love to Yeah, you can also try to find us my on uh, uh, Friends Amongst on uh, Twitter. We are on Twitter now, yes. Friends Amongst. Uh, we're also uh, Friends Amongst on uh, Instagram, as always. Yeah. Or just uh, Amongst Friends, the podcast, or AF the podcast, I think it is. I, no. It's one of those things. No, find a I hashtag, the, put it on there. AF the podcast. Uh, You'll find get it. Us. AF the podcast at gmail.com. Email us. Yeah, because throw us an email love, guys. I, it's I gonna love take answering a while. Emails. I do, dude. Come don't, on. Don't don't listen. I'm I, in control of the email, people. If if, if Sean tell <laughs> if you want to ask me a question on email, I'm more than happy to respond to him, but send them to Sean first because yes. I will not look at them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know John's it's, email, but I'm not gonna give it out, all right? <laughs> yeah. I, I I mean I'll that's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, have a blessed night. Sean, have a great night. This was a great episode. John, thank friends you. amongst amongst friends. Uh uh don't wait, wait, what do you want to talk about next week? Oh my god, dude. What shouldn't we talk about? I know what we shouldn't talk about. Yeah. What shouldn't I, I, we talk about? Because I, I do think you hit a, hmm. ball, a self-esteem uh, ballpark. Right Ooh, now. self-esteem. You know, I think that was uh the topic that I wanted to hit a That's little a bit. And great fucking way to start the media, man. I think so too. I think self-esteem should be a real uh focus on mine and uh in terms of like a New Year's resolution that I can actually keep. Maybe yeah. self-esteem I can work on a little bit. We'll keep it positive too. Yeah. I'll, I I think there are a couple positive. sad stories, but we'll keep it more we'll keep it mostly positive. Yeah. Goals in, in that line I think is a fantastic way to go about it. Perfect, perfect, John. I, I love you as always. I love you too, my brother. Thank you for joining me. Yep, of Thank course, always. For, for listening. 
Yeah, and thanks for everybody else listening as well. Have a good night. Everyone, have a great night.